Hi, I'm Jenna from Towson Sports Medicine. Medial tibial stress syndrome, or more commonly known as shin splints, is characterized by pain in your shin before, during, or after exercise. Pain is caused by inflammation to the soft tissue surrounding and attaching to your shin. This injury usually occurs early in the season due to being unconditioned and not ready for your sport. Some causes of medial tibial stress syndrome might include overuse, if you're doing too much and not giving your body proper time to rest, also change in running surfaces. Let's say you're going from basketball to lacrosse season, you're going from the court to grass, that's another reason that shin splints might occur. Also having improper footwear is another reason. Some treatments for medial tibial stress syndrome include rest. Rest is important if you're doing too much for your body, so taking some time off or just modifying your activity. Also having proper footwear. This could be a biomechanical issue, so having shoes that properly fit you could help. And also changing out your shoes. Depending on how many miles you're doing, it's important to get new shoes. Also, some stretching and strengthening exercises can help decrease symptoms and help heal this injury. This exercise is heel walking and toe walking. What you're going to have your athlete do is go up onto their heels and walk probably about 15 yards three times. The other one is just opposite of that. You're going up onto your toes and walking. You just want to stay on your toes or stay on your heels, not going back and forth between the two. This exercise is called toe taps. So it's kind of self-explanatory. Your athlete is going to have their heels on the ground and they're just tapping up and down as fast as they can. You want to go about 20 to 30 seconds and you're doing this three times. This exercise is resisted ankle motion. The four, first one is dorsiflexion. So you're going to pull the resistance band towards the ground, and the athlete's going to be pulling their toes up towards their chest. You want to do this one about 30 times or three sets of 10. The next one, you're just going to pull the band out and the, in, and the athlete is going to be pulling their ankle out. Same thing, three sets of 10. And the last one that you can do, you're pulling the band out, and this time they're pulling in against the resistance. As well as strengthening exercises, there are also a few stretches you can do. This one is a kneeling stretch, so you're on your knees and then you sit back onto your heels, and you should feel that stretch in the front of your legs. If you're not feeling it, then you can lean back a little bit, and that can help increase the stretch. Something you don't want to do is you don't want to go all the way back. That's just a little bit too much. So you want to hold this about 20 to 30 seconds, three to four times. Stretching your calves is also important too. This is just a slant board that we have here. So you just step up onto the board and you'll feel a stretch in the back of your leg. If you don't have something like this, just using a curb or even the wall will work also. Another way to stretch here, to get a deeper stretch in the soleus muscle, is to bend their knees slightly. You want to do this stretch for 20 to 30 seconds, three to four times. Ice is very important when treating medial tibial stress syndrome. This is just an ice cup. This is a little fancy, but you can just take a Dixie cup and put water in it and freeze it, and you can just tear the top off. What you're going to do is just run the cup right along the shin or where your pain is. You want to do this for about five to eight minutes. Medial tibial stress syndrome is a very common injury. If diagnosed and treated properly, your symptoms will most likely resolve. If it's not treated properly, then this injury can turn into something more serious, such as stress fractures. So if you're feeling this pain in your shin, it's important to tell your coach, athletic trainer, or parent so you can get this injury treated.